black holes, wormholes, time dilation these aren't just abstract scientific concepts anymore. They have entered the realm of mainstream imagination, largely thanks to one of the most ambitious cinematic undertakings of the past decade, Interstellar. Directed by Christopher Nolan, this 2014 film masterfully wove the intricate tapestry of theoretical physics into a gripping, emotionally resonant story that asks profound questions about survival, sacrifice, and humanity's place in the cosmos. But beyond the awe-inspiring visuals and dramatic moments, Interstellar is also a film of science albeit science that occasionally strays into fiction. While many viewers celebrated the movie's groundbreaking depiction of the effects of intense gravitational time dilation and the possibilities of wormholes, others found themselves perplexed by some of its more fantastical elements, planets swept by towering waves, a massive black hole that could somehow be traversed, and, perhaps most confounding of all, the Tesseract a five-dimensional construct that allows the protagonist to communicate across time and space. These moments raised countless questions. How much of the film adhered to established scientific principles? Where did it take creative liberties? Is it truly possible to bend space-time in such dramatic ways? Or were these just fantastical notions brought to life for the sake of storytelling? Today, we'll embark on a deep dive into the science of Interstellar. Together, we'll unravel the mysteries of wormholes, black holes, and time dilation while separating hard scientific fact from the speculative fiction that allowed this story to take flight. By the end, you may come away with a deeper appreciation of both the film's scientific rigor and its artistic imagination. To understand the stakes of Interstellar, we need to begin with the world it imagines a future Earth teetering on the edge of collapse. A disease known as the Blight has begun to ravage global crops, causing mass starvation widespread societal decay, and a retreat from technological advancement. Instead of focusing on exploration or innovation, humanity has become singularly obsessed with survival, turning its attention back to the soil in a desperate bid to maintain a dwindling food supply. This dystopian premise serves as the backdrop for the film's central narrative. Our protagonist, Cooper, is a former NASA pilot who now ekes out a living as a farmer. He stumbles upon a secret NASA facility where scientists have been working on a last-ditch plan to save humanity. Their hope lies in a recently discovered wormhole a cosmic shortcut through spacetime that appeared mysteriously near Saturn. This wormhole offers a tantalizing possibility. It may lead to planets in another galaxy capable of sustaining human life. But what exactly is a wormhole? In the film, the wormhole is depicted with a stunning level of accuracy rather than the glowing, swirling portals seen in many science fiction movies. The wormhole near Saturn is shown as a sphere, warping and distorting the light of the stars behind it. This is because a wormhole, as theorized by physicists like Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, is an extreme distortion of space-time. It connects to separate points in the universe, creating a tunnel-like structure that theoretically allows for instantaneous travel between distant locations. The analogy often used to describe a wormhole is folding a sheet of paper. If one end of the paper represents Earth and the other end represents a distant star system, you can fold the paper so that the two ends touch. A wormhole, in theory, creates this shortcut, allowing you to traverse the vast distances of space without the need for faster-than-light travel. However, there are significant challenges to the idea of wormholes as practical cosmic highways. While Einstein's equations of general relativity allow for the existence of wormholes, creating one would require exotic matter with negative mass a substance that has yet to be discovered, let alone understood. This negative mass would be needed to stabilize the wormhole's throat, preventing it from collapsing under the immense gravitational forces at play. And even if a wormhole could be stabilized, there's the issue of time travel. Wormholes inherently involve connections across both space and time. If one end of the wormhole were to experience time dilation, perhaps by being placed near a massive gravitational source, it could theoretically allow for backwards time travel. This opens the door to paradox scenarios where cause and effect are disrupted, potentially breaking the very fabric of reality. Physicist Kip Thorne, 
who served as the film's scientific advisor, explored these ideas extensively during the production of Interstellar. His work ensured that the wormhole in the film was not only visually stunning, but also grounded in real scientific principles at least up to a point. While the wormhole's existence required some suspension of disbelief, its depiction remains one of the most scientifically accurate portrayals ever seen on screen. After traveling through the wormhole, Cooper and his crew arrive at a system orbiting a supermassive black hole called Gargantua. Here, they encounter one of the film's most memorable and scientifically fascinating phenomena, gravitational time dilation. One of the planets, Miller's planet, orbits so close to Gargantua that time itself is warped by the black hole's immense gravitational field. While the crew spends only a few hours on the planet's surface, decades pass for their crewmate left aboard the ship farther out in space. This concept is not just speculative, it is a well-documented consequence of Einstein's general relativity. Gravitational time dilation occurs because massive objects bend spacetime, causing time to pass more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. We observe this effect on Earth, albeit on a much smaller scale. For example, GPS satellites orbiting the Earth experience slightly less gravity than objects on the planet's surface, causing their onboard clocks to tick slightly faster. The extreme time dilation depicted in asterisk interstellar asterisk is entirely plausible given the conditions described. However, the film takes some creative liberties with the visual representation of Gargantua. According to Thorne, the black hole would actually appear much larger in the sky from the surface of Miller's planet. Nolan chose to depict it as smaller for dramatic effect, prioritizing aesthetics over strict scientific accuracy. The climax of Interstellar takes us into one of the most mysterious and speculative realms of modern physics, the interior of a black hole. To save the mission, Cooper sacrifices himself by plunging into Gargantua's event horizon. Instead of being crushed or spaghettified by the intense gravitational forces, Cooper finds himself in a tesseract of five-dimensional construct created by advanced future beings. Here, he is able to manipulate gravitational waves to communicate with his daughter back on Earth, ultimately ensuring humanity's survival. This sequence, while emotionally powerful, ventures far into the realm of fiction. Physicists remain uncertain about what happens inside a black hole as the laws of physics break down at the singularity a point of infinite density and zero volume. Some theories suggest that the intense gravitational forces would stretch any object into an elongated spaghetti shape, tearing it apart at the molecular level. As for the Tesseract, it is a purely fictional construct, though it is inspired by real mathematical concepts in higher dimensional geometry. The idea of using gravitational waves to send messages across time is also speculative, but it serves as a compelling narrative device that ties the film's themes of love and connection to its scientific foundation. At its core, Interstellar is more than a story about black holes and wormholes it is a meditation on humanity's resilience, our drive to explore, and our capacity to hope in the face of overwhelming odds. By blending rigorous scientific principles with bold artistic vision, the film has sparked countless discussions about the nature of time, space, and our place in the universe. While it occasionally sacrifices scientific accuracy for dramatic effect, Interstellar succeeds in making complex ideas accessible to a wide audience. It challenges us to think deeply about the possibilities and limitations of our scientific knowledge, inspiring a sense of wonder that is all too rare in modern cinema. What did you think of Asterisk Interstellar Asterisk? Did its portrayal of science captivate you? Or did the liberties it took detract from your experience? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, stay curious and keep exploring the cosmos.